Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I'm going to do a short video today on finding the dot product in three-dimensional vectors and also the angle between two three-dimensional vectors. So a three-dimensional vector goes from the origin out, so you kind of see it in a box like this. Let's say it were to go 2 and x, 3 and y, and 4 and z. It would be like that pencil. It would be in three-dimensional space. And then if you were to find the angle between two three-dimensional vectors like this, you could see how complex that would be. Just to kind of figure out how to get a plane to cut those two and then figure out that angle between them. But with the dot product, it's a really pretty easy operation to find the angle between two three-dimensional vectors. So to start with, I have two vectors here. Vector A is 3i, 5j, plus 2k. It could also be looked at as, as a position vector, 3, 5, 2. And then second vector in my example, vector B, 6i minus 1j plus 4k. Again, you could represent that as a position vector with coordinates x, y, and z, starting at the origin 0, 0, 0, traveling to 6, negative 1, 4. There are two equations for dot product. The first equation for dot product, and it's written a dot b, is the x values multiplied together plus the y values multiplied together plus the z values multiplied together. So if I want to find the dot product between a and b, I could do a dot b is going to be equal to 3 times 6, 18, plus 5 times negative 1, negative 5, plus 2 times 4, 8. So the dot product, a dot b, is going to be equal to 26 minus 5, 21. That's how easy it is to find the dot product. And then there's a second equation for dot product, a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a, that's what those absolute values mean, times the magnitude of b, cosine of the angle between them. So let me go ahead and find the magnitude of a. Magnitude of a is the x coefficient squared plus the y coefficient squared plus the z coefficient squared. So in this example, 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 2 squared, or 9 plus 25 plus 4, 38. So the magnitude of A is equal to the square root of 38. The magnitude of B would be equal to the square root of 6 squared, 36, plus negative 1 squared, plus 4 squared. So then I have... 52, 53, or the square root of 53. So I've done a few things so far. I found the magnitude of A, square root of 38, the magnitude of B, square root of 53. I've also found the dot product, A dot B, the X values, the Y values, the Z values. So A dot B was equal to 21. Now if I want to find the angle between those two vectors, I'm going to set those two equations equal to each other. So the dot product, again, is 21. It's going to be equal to the other equation for dot product, the magnitude of A, square root of 38, times the magnitude of B, square root of 53, cosine of the angle between them. So I've taken one dot product equation, set it to the other dot product equation. I have one unknown, theta. That's going to be the angle between the two vectors in three-dimensional space, so I just have to solve for that theta. The way I'll do that is I'll divide both sides by the square root of 38 and the square root of 53. Do that to the right, I'll also do it to the left. Square root of 38, square root of 53. That'll cancel with that, that with that. Cosine of theta will be equal to this number right here. So I do 21 divided by root 38 and root 53. That gives me 0.467. Again, solving for theta, I take the arc cosine of both sides. That'll cancel with that. The arc cosine of that number right there, theta, is going to be equal to 62 degrees. So again, that's how you find a dot product and then also the angle between two three-dimensional vectors. Please comment below with any more questions you might have. Uh, if you liked the video, think about subscribing and hitting the like button. Thank you for watching.